What is tubal ligation? Tubal ligation, also known as having your tubes tied or tubal sterilization, is a type of permanent birth control. During a tubal ligation, the fallopian tubes are cut or blocked to permanently prevent pregnancy. A tubal ligation actually disrupts the movement of the egg to the uterus for fertilization and blocks sperm from traveling up the fallopian tubes. This procedure does not affect your menstrual cycle. It can be done at any time, including after childbirth or in combination with other abdominal surgical procedures, such as a C-section. It is possible to reverse a tubal ligation, but reversal requires major surgery and isn't always effective. Why is tubal ligation done? Tubal ligation is one of the most commonly used surgical sterilization procedures for women. Tubal ligation permanently prevents pregnancy and may also decrease the risk of ovarian cancer. Tubal ligation isn't appropriate for everyone. Your doctor at Professional Gynecological Services will make sure you fully understand the risks and benefits of this procedure. The doctor may also talk to you about other options such as hysteroscopic sterilization which involves placing a small coil or other insert into the fallopian tubes through the cervix. The insert causes scar tissue to form and seal off the tubes. How is tubal ligation done? Tubal ligation is usually done with a laparoscope under general or regional anesthesia. It can be done while you're recovering from vaginal childbirth, during a C-section delivery, or as an outpatient procedure which is separate from childbirth. If you have tubal ligation as an outpatient procedure, a needle is inserted through your navel and your abdomen is inflated with gas. Then a small incision is made and using instruments passed through the abdominal wall, the doctor seals the fallopian tubes. What can you expect after the procedure? We recommend that women rest for a couple of days following this procedure. It is typical to have some discomfort in the incision site. Common side effects also include abdominal pain or cramping, fatigue, dizziness, gassiness or bloating, shoulder pain, and sore throat. You may take most over-the-counter pain relievers, but avoid using aspirin since it may promote bleeding. You may bathe 48 hours after the procedure, but avoid straining or rubbing the incision for one week and make sure to carefully dry the incision after bathing. Please avoid strenuous lifting and vaginal intercourse for one to two weeks. You should resume your normal activities gradually as you begin to feel better. Your stitches will dissolve and won't require removal. You should make an appointment to return to our office within one to two weeks following the procedure to make sure you're properly healing. What are the risks? As with any surgery, there is always risk when you are given general anesthesia. You may have a bad reaction to the medication used. Surgery itself may present problems with bleeding or infection. However, tubal ligation is considered to be a very safe procedure with an overall complication rate of less than 1%. Tubal ligation does not prevent against STDs including HIV. Please contact Professional Gynecological Services today for more information or make an appointment.